Fishaholic fam and welcome back to another episode. Just launched the Fishaholic rig down here in Florida and uh, it's been quite some time since I've been out on the boat so it feels good to be back out already and uh, I don't really have a plan for today. We're just gonna go out and fish, mostly do some inshore stuff but uh, just uh, hopefully get on a bite and catch some nice fish. So uh, I'm just gonna cruise out of this uh, no wake zone and uh, probably go up the St. Lucie first to a spot where I'm thinking we can maybe throw some top water for some snook and then uh, as the morning progresses we'll maybe go back down and head to the ocean or we might just stay in the river or head over to the Indian River, I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, let's just make it happen and catch some fish, so stay tuned. quick easy run to our first spot here. I'm gonna throw on a top water and start working this bank right here. So let's do it. All right, I'm gonna start off with this Yozuri Hydro Pencil. And I'm just gonna tie it on with a loop knot, a Rapala knot. So it has lots of side to side surface action. I'm using 40 pound fluorocarbon. So hopefully that'll be heavy enough for uh, the snook that I'm anticipating blowing up on this plug. First cast, can we get a bite? We've got some good incoming current right now flowing from left to right past all this structure. And uh, I believe high tide is in a couple hours or so. So uh, it looks like based off looking off on the sea walls that you know, the water will probably come up a foot or two more before it'll be high. about 30 minutes and uh, no bites so uh, there's either no fish here or uh, the fish just don't want to eat top water right now or this top water oh there he is good fish oh yeah stay hooked baby Finally, nice snook on the spook. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, she saw the net and didn't like it. There we go. Solid one on top water. Whew. Oh, 
such a sweet catch right here. We had her hooked good too, so there's no chance that she was coming off. Let's get the net out of the way and get a nice little measure on her. Solid 30 inch snook right there. Whew. All right, there's a closer look at this uh, 30 inch snook. She's a chunky girl. I bet you that uh, she's gonna be heading out soon to spawn and that's why she's real thick and she's probably been eating real good all winter and spring. <laughs> so sweet, let's get her back. Well, the current's going that way, so I'm just gonna let her regain some of her strength, and hopefully she'll kick off strong, just like that. Nice, healthy release. Whew, let's keep it going. All right, leader looks okay. I'm gonna go around this dock and try the other side. We're gonna be in trouble if we get a big fish right in there. Oh, look at all these snook right here. It's three big ones. They're definitely not gonna eat now. Hmm. For this area along here, you know what? I'm gonna take off the spook now and try a little swim bait. Like this little hyperlastic minnow swim bait from a band of anglers. Oh, look at that shark cruising right by. All right, well, the tide is going slack here in this spot and uh, it should start going out pretty soon. But uh, I'm sweating bullets right now and, I'm, and a lot of my GoPros are overheating. So uh, I'm gonna make a run down river uh, closer towards uh, the inlet so uh, I, I can give the camera some time to cool down and also uh, so I can cool down myself and uh, Get some breeze from the boat going ahead because uh, man it is like got to be like 90 95 and humid and sunny and uh, i'm sweating bullets right now so uh yeah let's get a move on and uh see if we can find uh, some more fish a new place a new home for a while let me feel alive Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in me, so I can find myself. Oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, I feel so. All right, we're at our next spot here. The cameras are overheating so bad, I'm actually putting them in my little Arctic cooler here just to cool them down. Now it's uh, nice and chilled, so I think we'll be okay. 
But uh, yeah, I'm gonna work along this shoreline here and uh, I wanna try something different actually. I'm, I think I'm gonna break out uh, the fly rod. I haven't fished with uh, the fly in quite some time, so it'll be cool to see if we can get at least one fish on the fly rod today. All right, I'm gonna start out by tossing around this little Rainey's bush pig fly. It looks like we're here right at the right time because I, I see that we've got a little bit of outgoing water. And I see some greenies right in there popping on the surface. And it looks like there's a couple of snook possibly sitting underneath them. Big snook cruising to the left. Or maybe it's a barracuda. He stopped to look at my fly. I don't know if you could see him. I know there's a snook right there. Oh, I see a snook right there. Sitting super shallow. wasn't interested. Oh, I got two nice snook cruising right here. The one is probably 30 plus, the other one's probably 30 inches. No interest in the fly though. I love how clear the water is though, it's pretty cool. All right, nothing on the fly. We tried for probably about like 20 minutes, but uh, there's a bunch of uh, decent sized greenies right here. I'm gonna try and catch them. Yeah, we got a bunch in the net. The sad thing is they're really tiny ones. So most of them end up getting like gill netted. All right, look at all these dead baits because I, you know, I couldn't get them out of the net quick enough. They all get caught on their gills because they're so small. And if you guys have any suggestions for a better net for these smaller size baits, you know, I just need probably a net that has like smaller diameter holes and uh, you know, we'd be golden. But it uh, looks like I got maybe like a couple dozen in the live well that are alive. So I'm gonna keep these dead baits and I'm gonna go down a little bit. And if I spot some snook that are sitting in the current, I'm gonna toss the dead ones out and then I'll pitch a live one out on uh, this setup here. see a snook right here. Big one. No interest though. I see another one right here. Oh, it fell off the hook. Oh my gosh, a snook just ate it right under the boat. That's crazy. 
here I am looking in there to try and find a snook to pitch to. And this guy was right underneath me. There we go. And I'll be honest, it has been a grind. I've probably pitched to like 30 or 40 snook and all of them have shied away from the bait. And it's crazy that we got one right below the boat. Whew. I think I'm down to my last bait, believe it or not. I went through these things quick. Got a snook cruising right here. Perfect leading cast, perfect leading cast. There he ate it. Got him. Whoo! That was immediately. You know, I wonder if these snook are turning on now because it's like the right time of the tide. You know, we've been at this for a couple hours here in this spot, first with the fly rod then with the greenies and nothing. And uh, then to get two off the bat like that, that tells me a lot. But the sad thing is now I'm out of bait. There we go. All right, Fishaholics. Well, I got a big update for you because uh, it's about three hours now from when we caught uh, that last snook that you saw, and it's been a grind. Uh, you know, we shouldn't have stayed so long in that second spot, but I was seeing so many fish there, and I was determined to get at least one before leaving. But uh, we actually ended up getting two, like back to back, right away. So I thought that, like you know, all the fish in the area were gonna turn on. And after we got that second snook, we ran out of bait. So I caught uh, like another two or three dozen greenies and, uh, you know, spent like another hour there and didn't get another uh, snook to eat. I probably pitched to like 20 and uh, they just spooked off. And then uh, we raced up river and we hit the 10 cent bridge there for about an hour with uh, multiple different shads. And uh, it looked so good because it was the end of the outgoing but uh, I didn't have any bites. Uh, and then we dropped some greenies on the pilings and I caught a bunch of like little snappers like this one. And uh, now uh, my trolling motor batteries are getting really low in juice. And I did hit this shoreline there for about 10 minutes until I was just like, ah, like um, my brain's fried, the batteries are low. Uh, you know, I feel like uh, being that, uh, you know, it's a little after two now, if we, get off the water now we'll have plenty of time to charge all the boat you know batteries charge my myself back up and uh then prep for maybe tomorrow's fishing mission uh, where we can possibly maybe go out in the ocean i'm thinking either going out in the rig or going out in the kayak um you know i'm not really sure but uh, i want to do something different uh because uh this is like kind of like my last week fish in this area for like then the next 10 days i'll be in like brazil so i want to just uh do something different while i'm here until you know i come back but uh yeah thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to smash the like button hit the subscribe button to stay tuned for more and until the next video live to fish fish to live